Giants fans, it is your boy Jay Downs. We are back at it with another New York Giants video. Back at it with another New York Giants banger. And before we get to this one, make sure to like, make sure you comment, and make sure that subscribe button and join the Dime Dropper gang as the NFL draft is closer. You know that means more content is going to be coming out. So you are definitely going to want to subscribe and stick around. Now let's hop right into it. Today, I felt like we should be talking about the second round, guys. We've been talking a lot about the first round, guys. The top five, the top ten guys. Trayvon Walker, Kayvon Thibodeau, Evan Neal, Ike McAnwu. I felt like today, we should be talking about some guys I think the Giants could be looking at in the second, maybe even third round um, in the 2022 NFL Draft. And I want to start this off with a wide receiver, and that is John Metchie third out of Alabama. Now, before we really hop into him, he did tear his ACL in the SEC Championship game back in December, but I think John Mechie will be healthy, and I think he will be prepared. He will be ready for the... Um, 2022-2023 uh, NFL season. Um, he is a guy that has always been kind of the fourth leading receiver at Alabama. He played behind Jalen Waddle, Henry Ruggs, and Devontae Smith, a Heisman Trophy winner. Um, Jalen Waddle, who had one of the most greatest rookie seasons, having 104 receptions, which I think is the most for a rookie in NFL history. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to talk about Henry Ruggs, but you know what I'm saying? He's always been playing behind those guys, and when he actually had a chance to be one of the leading receivers with Jamison Williams, who uh, actually transferred from Ohio State to Alabama, he had an awesome season. Um, I think he had like 1,142 yards. I think he had 67 some catches. And um, he was very productive in his last year at Alabama. Um, I think he's a guy that the Giants could possibly look at in the third round more than even the second with the ACL injury. Now, we see that when the player is walking into the NFL draft with an injury, it automatically drops their draft stock. We already know what happened to David Ojabo. You know, he ruptures, he tears, he tears his Achilles at his pro day. And now people are having the second round grade on him. And I feel like with Jamison Williams, he was kind of probably going to be a first round draft pick before the injury. And now the Giants might be able to snag this kid in the second round, which I think will be a steal. Whichever team is able to get a guy like John Mechie, it's going to be a steal automatically because of the injury. But he also was very, very productive when he had the chance to be productive. Like I said, the guy was playing behind three um, NFL talents in Henry Ruggs, Jalen Waddle, and Devontae Smith. So... That is hard. That is very, very difficult. But when he had the chance, like I said, to actually step up and be one of the main weapons on that Alabama offense, he shined. And I mean, he shined. Now, he isn't a go-get-it wide receiver. He's not a 50-50 ball wide receiver. He's more of a guy like a Darius Tony, where give him the ball and let him do some things after the catch. Now, he has reliable hands. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have top bursting speed, but I don't think you need... Tyree kill speed to be a great wide receiver. That is truly 100% false in my opinion. He can still get the job done. He can still create separation and he has very reliable hands. And you know, I just feel like he's a guy that when we're talking about two years down the line, he will be one of the main weapons on the offense. Now, right now, the Giants have Kenny Galladay, Sterling Shepard. Both of those guys are, first of all, injury prone. And second, they aren't the guys that are going to be on the team in five years down the line. If you drive a guy like John Mechie, I feel like that's a, you know, it's probably a, you know, a luxury pick, but it's also a pick of need where you're talking about next year, you're going to probably try and look for a quarterback if Daniel Jones isn't the guy, and you're going to probably have just Kadarius Tony as being your number one guy, and Darius Slayton, the question that he hasn't got resigned yet, and he's probably entering, I think he's entering his the last year of his rookie deal, we don't really know what the, uh, the time, not the time, not the time, but the longevity of Darius Slayton being on the Giants. So John Mechie is a guy that I think the Giants should definitely look at in the second to third round, maybe. Next, I got Jalen Pytre out of Baylor, cornerback slash safety. Now, when you're talking about versatility, that's Jalen Pytre up and down the way. That is definitely Jalen Pytre out of Baylor. Now, I feel like if the Giants are going to be looking for a guy that can play multiple positions, this is the guy for you. The ba uh, Baylor light this guy, the guy up all over the place. They had this guy playing some corner, some nickel corner. They had this guy playing safety. They had this guy playing in the box. He even had some some wrestler. He was on D line, not you know playing in the dirt, but he was rushing the quarterback from the D line spot. And when I look at that, I feel like that's a guy that he automatically fits the Wing Martindale defense. He's versatile. He's a guy that you can use as a blitzer because we know what Wig Martin don't want to do. He wants to get out to the quarterback. He wants to send that pressure. He wants to send that heat. Jalen Pytree is a guy that in the second to third round 
you're killing two birds with one stone because he can do it all. He can play the slot corner. He can play, you know, the, the, the deep safety. He can do that. And I think that he is a guy that brings effort on every single play. You know what I'm saying? He plays very fast. You know what I'm saying? He has, like I said, the versatility is there. He can process very quickly. And um, I think he's a guy that when we're talking about second, third round, he's a very, very valuable pick. He's a very, very valuable pick. Now, like I said, I don't think right now the Giants are looking at a corner uh, with that seventh overall pick or fifth overall pick. If James Bradbury is still going to be here, possibly could they still take a Mossos Gardner? Yes, but I think that the Giants, if they're going to keep James Bradbury after draft night, he's going to actually play for the Giants in 2022. The Giants will look at another position like edge rusher or maybe even linebacker with that seventh overall pick. And then in the second and third round, they're going to be looking for cornerback talent. And with Jalen Pitcher, like I said, he can do both. He can play a slot corner and he can also play that safety role. And he can you can also use him as a blitzer. I just like the way that... Jalen Pytre could be used on the Giants defense with Wing Martindale. I think he fits the scheme perfectly. You can do so many things with him. And um, I just feel like he's a smart player. He's a very talented player. He's a guy that makes plays. He makes plays. And uh, one other thing, when he has that interception, when he makes that big play, he's going to take it back. He's one of those guys that when he gets an interception, he's looking to score it right after. He's pick six God, if you ask me. One of the pick six guys, all right? But uh, another guy I think the Giants could take is a guy that I have mocked the Giants taking in the third round in my last mock draft, and that is Leo Chanel, linebacker out of Wisconsin. Again, is another guy that I think the Giants, when you're looking at who fits the scheme the best, Leo Chanel is one of those guys. He is one of those cats, and I, I had him mocked to the Giants in the third round. I feel like right now, this guy's gonna be a guy that's gonna be gone by the third round. Like, I'm starting to see these mock drafts. I'm starting to see his stock rise more and more as the uh, draft approaches. Day three, well, not day three, but day two, he's not going to be there. He's not going to be there in the third round. I don't, I just don't think it. And um, if the Giants are looking at linebacker and they're saying, we aren't going to take a Devin Lloyd or a N'Kobe Dean, who I think could possibly fall to the second round. I would love the Giants to take him out of Georgia. We got to look at Leo Chenault because he's a guy that really fits his team as a blitzer. We know what Wisconsin does. They like to send their linebackers. They like to send those boys. They like to send that heat. And that's what Wink Martindale likes to do. And this is basically me repeating what I said when the Giants were going to mock. When I mocked him to the Giants in my last mock draft, he's a guy that fits the scheme perfectly, man. I just love, I would love to see him next to Blake Martinez on these run plays, just blitzing those gaps and trying to get back there and tackle the running back. I would love to see it. I think it would be a very, very, very good pick for the New York Giants in the second round. Like I said, I had a guy, I had us taking him in the third round. I don't think that's gonna be very likely anymore. I feel like he would be gone by the time the Giants pick back up in the third round. So maybe the Giants take him in the second round and you look at another position in the third. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button. These are just a few of, of the guys that the Giants can take in the second or third round, uh, preferably in the second. There's a lot more prospects, a ton more prospects. Actually, comment down below some of those second and third round prospects that you think the Giants should or could take or that you like personally in the 2022 NFL Draft. Leave that down below in the comment section and let the gang know. That's going to do it, though. If you enjoyed, like I said, leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button. And until this, big boy, Jay Dimes, love you boys. Go Giants. We are out. Peace.